Live from WBBM-TV Chicago, this is Channel 2 News at 430. They left their daughters home alone while they went on vacation. And now the suburban couple is back home. And tonight, to they are under arrest. Good evening. I'm Linda McLennan. And I'm Lester Holt. David and Sharon Shu are back from Mexico this evening. And they got quite a welcome home. Cops, handcuffs, criminal charges, all for leaving their daughters, ages 9 and 4, home alone for the holidays. Tonight, these parents are under arrest and behind bars. Channel 2's Mike Parker is live in Kane County to tell us what's next for the home alone couple. Mike? Lester, we're at the Kane County Courthouse, where later today, uh, sheriff's investigators will report to the state's attorney on their interviews with uh, David and Sharon Shu and possible further charges against them, although further charges are only a possibility right now. And at this moment, the Shoes remain in Kane County Jail. They may be there overnight, and they're probably still reeling from the reception they got this morning at O'Hare Airport. Chicago police officers and Kane County investigators were in place mapping strategy an hour before the Continental flight from Houston was due in. And so were scores of reporters and photographers who learned that the parents were coming back after eight days. At 10.30 a.m., the plane carrying the two taxied to the gate, and police went down the jetway to find and arrest the elusive Mexican travelers. Within minutes, they were escorted out of the plane. David Shu, he's in the gray hooded sweatshirt. Sharon Shu, she is in the white jacket, here to face child abandonment charges. David, do you have anything to say about what happened? Were you worried at all about your kids all that time? But neither parent would respond to the barrage of reporters' questions. Neither would show any emotion as they were marched in handcuffs through O'Hare. Through it all, travelers who had heard the so-called Home Alone parents were in the terminal shouted at them. There were boos and names hurled at the pair. One man yelled, Hey, Scrooge. The frenzied, bizarre scene then moved outside, where the couple was placed inside a police vehicle and taken away to the Kane County Jail. One of the officers who had made the arrest on the aircraft was Chicago Police Sergeant Jerry Thornton. Did they, they ask about the children? No, they did not. Did they ask what? anything at all? Well, they were advised of their rights, and they chose to remain silent. David and Sharon Shue have been back in the United States for six hours now, all six of those hours in the custody of Kane County authorities. It looks like they won't be free anytime soon. There will not be a bond hearing scheduled for the pair until 8.30 tomorrow morning, so it appears they will be spending the night in the Kane County Jail. With more on who these people are, a little more on their backgrounds, here's Don Stentley. And Mike, tonight friends and family say David and, and Sharon Shu have always been good parents. They're always strict with their two young daughters. He's an experienced electrical engineer. She's a homemaker. Friends say they were excited about jet setting off to a dream vacation in Mexico. No one ever imagined they'd leave their kids home alone. Nikki Shu captured the hearts of people across the state when she told her personal home alone story. For a long time, I would feel really bad, pretty um, well, wondering what they were doing and where they are. Tonight, nine-year-old Nikki and her four-year-old sister Diana are in the state's custody. Until this morning, the girls were staying here with their grandmother in nearby Montgomery. Their grandmother says she had offered to babysit the girls in their Campton Township home, but David and Sharon Shu said they already had a babysitter. The shoe story is the talk of the town. Everyone, including Nikki and Diana's grandparents, wants to know why the two little girls would be left home alone to spend Christmas by themselves. Little nine-year-old Nikki did tell police her parents promised to bring back lots of Christmas presents once they got back from Acapulco. David Shue works here at System Sensors as an electrical engineer. His co-workers say they're shocked. Can't believe that something like that happens out here, you know. You hear about it all the time, but not out in the suburbs out here, you know. That's something you hear about in the city usually. Tonight, especially parents say they're outraged by the shoes story. What's that? Home Alone is scary. Another sad part of the story, David Shue's mother told me today that although she didn't want to talk on camera, she said she hasn't seen her two grandchildren ever before. The first time she ever saw them was on Channel 2's interview with her granddaughter, Nikki. She hopes that the family rift that is held for years will now somehow be mended through this family crisis. We're told that in just a few minutes also, the Kane County Sheriff will be holding a news conference. Of course, we will be bringing you those details. I'm Dawn Stensland, live from the Kane County Courthouse. Lester, back to you. Don, thank you.